right? Wam, 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 shalom, shalom. I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings to your brothers and sisters in the New Covenant. Peace and blessings to the Torah tribes scattered abroad and uh, to the elect, man. So what you see on the screen, I got uh, some cartoons of uh, a naked, or so-called naked Israelite woman. Now, I want y'all to think about Genesis, when Adam and Eve were naked, and uh, they were not ashamed, man. Because these are not real women, so you're not lusting after uh, somebody's wife. But I put those pictures in the intro to uh, bring out the glory of the Lord, man, and his creation of becoming one flesh and creating creating the ability to reproduce and to create life. Yahweh Yahweh Shah is the God of life, the God of peace, man. So he decided to give us the power to create to create life as well. Um a lot of you brothers and you sisters, you uh operate in death. You don't operate on a high vibration. A lot of y'all are brainwashed by school systems, uh religion parental teachings whatever it may be but that's not the point of this video the point of this video is to bring out the context of lust man a lot of people use lust in a negative light they use lust in a sinful light because that's what we were taught in religion but when you read the actual bible okay it's two contexts of lust okay so let's get deuteronomy 12 and 20 just to prove the point when the Lord Yahweh thy God shall enlarge, enlarge thy border, as he hath promised thee, and thou shalt say, I will eat flesh. Now, I you can't eat meat. I will eat flesh, because thy soul longeth to eat flesh. Thou mayest eat flesh, and whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. You see that? Thy soul lusteth after. Okay. Now, when you get the word lusteth, turn off my Bluetooth, man. Strong's H-185. Eva. Eva. So, lusteth. It says desire, lust. Not necessarily evil. That's in the Blue Letter Bible. You see that? Not necessarily evil. Okay? So, you have to know the law of Moses. So lust or lusteth means pleasure, right? Desire. Are you going to the origin? Strong's H one eighty three. Ava. Ava. So lust means desire to crave for food and drink. Desire to lust after bodily appetites. That's in a biblical usage, but it just means desire to lust after, right? But According to the commandments, you're not supposed to lust after. Matter of fact, let's get the scripture for edification purposes, beloved ones. Exodus 20 and um, 17. This is the wicked side of lust, man. Thou should not convict, convict thy neighbor's house. Everything is not adultery in uh, pumping and dumping. Everything is not being a harlot. Okay? Lust is not just damn sex, man. I'm going to say concupiscence. Because you got righteous, lustful sex, and you have wicked, lustful sex. As we just proved in the Hebrew, thou shalt not convict thy neighbor's wife. That's why in the New Covenant in Matthew 5 and 28, Yahweh Shai said, if you lust after a woman, you committed adultery. But the Greek word for woman is wife. G-Y-N-E. Okay? It's not talking about a woman who's not popped, who has a fat ass, man. That's not what that's talking about. You have to know what biblical marriage is, not worldly marriage. Getting a ring and piece of paper, that's not biblical marriage. Moses and them did not have a ring and a piece of paper. Why you people and all you people lying on God, man? Nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Right? So this is the difference. So convict is... Strong's age twenty five thirty. Hamad. Hamad. So convey is to desire, take pleasure in. Right? But notice how the Lord is very specific. Goodly lust, precious thing. 
the Lord is very specific. He called it convict after your neighbor's possessions. It don't matter what it is. It's not <laughs> lusting. Lusting in itself is not sin, bro. Let's get Galatians 5 real quick and I'm going to get back to the point because I got to go to uh, Hosea. All right. Now, Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Let's go to what Paul said, what the lust of the flesh is, man. Paul is referring to covetousness. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, having sex with another man's wife, according to the law of Moses. A woman married being promiscuous. That's all, that's all it is. It ain't nothing else outside of that. Fornication. You have spiritual fornication. You have, and fornication means unlawful sex, man. Not, oh, I got desires. I'm fornicating. No. That's adding and taking away from the, from the scriptures. It says illicit sexual intercourse, which means unlawful. Adultery, homosexuality, lesbianism, right? Sex with relatives, and divorced man or woman. Idols, etc. Incest. But uncleanness, lasciviousness. Now, this is the wicked side of lust. Lascivious, unbridled lust, ex excess, outrageous, shamelessness, man. Right? Wantonness, meaning what? You know, the porn stars and stuff like that, bro. That's what it's talking about. It's not talking about you want to become one flesh with your woman and have the most intense pleasure possible. That's not what it's talking about. You guys want to ruin the gift of the Lord, man. All right, but let's get back to the righteous side of it. Let's get back to the righteous side of it. I'm going to get Hosea 10 and 10 because there's two different sides of it, man. This is why everybody's uh, burning in the flesh, man, and falling short. Hosea 10 and 10, All right? Strong's H185, Eva. Eva. Now, it's the same word. Hosea 10 and 10. It is my desire that I should chast chastise them and the people shall be gathered against them when they shall bind themselves in their two furrows. See that? Now, the Hebrew, again, it's the same thing. Desire, lust. But I meant to go into the lexicon. Look what it says, man. Used of desire of food. Then guess what it says? sexual desire okay at some point you men and women are gonna have to mature bro um and just really uh start using common sense right and this even a commandment in the law bro exodus 21 and 10 if you take him another wife her food, right? You got to feed her. Her raiment, her clothes, and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish. See that? This is not the lust of the flesh. This is not dull one west men, men, men all day, bro. We got flavor over here. So, cohabitation, conjugal rights, man. Sexual cohabitation, duty of marriage. It's, the Lord said it's, it's a commandment. You got to clap them cheeks, man. That's a commandment. Being fruitful and multiply is a commandment. That's not, not in the Holy Spirit and oh brother, there's no sex in the resurrection. You don't know y'all don't know the difference between the resurrection and new heaven and new Jerusalem. Quit reading over scriptures because you immature. Man, and sorry for the daughters of Sarah, man. Just gotta get on some of these uh minions, man. They just wanna block the understanding of the Lord. And y'all are trying to condemn the religious people too, because none of y'all read the Bible. Y'all trying to condemn other people. For a sin they're not committing, man. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I know. I see. All right. Enough of this sneaky link and all this dumb stuff, bro. With grown ass men and women. What are you hiding for, bro? Let's get Genesis as well. I'm going to get Genesis 2. Go to 25. All right. And they were both naked. The man and his wife. And we're not ashamed, man. You walking around the house butt-ass naked, man. Like, I don't care if my wife don't got on no dress and head wrap. That's not even... Bro, no. I don't care if her ass and titties out in the house. When it's me and her, okay? I can see if I have multiple wives. But you guys want to put 
a, a shackle and a bondage on people's marriage, on the understanding of the Lord, man. Right? And for you women, right? Not paying attention, right? Being curvy is not a damn sin. Song of Solomon 7 and 1. How beautiful are your sandaled feet, O queenly maiden. Your rounded thighs are like jewels, man. Carjus crew. Repeat it again. This is in the Bible. Song of Solomon 7 and 1. Your rounded thighs are like jewels, the work of a skilled craftsman. Your navel is perfectly formed like a goblet filled with mixed wine. Between your thighs lies a mound of wheat bordered with lilies. Your breasts are like two fawns, twin fawns of a gazelle, man. Right? Go to verse 7. Go to uh, 6, actually. Oh, how beautiful you are. Nah, I, that's the lust of the flesh. How beautiful you are. Nah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, man. See, I'm, I almost said something, but come on. It's at the point. Your beloved's got to study, man. How pleasing, my love. How full of delights. You are slender like a palm tree, and your breasts are like its clusters of fruit, man. See that? This ain't talking about whoremongering, man. You guys want to share your whoremonger stories, man. Nobody want to hear that, bro. That's not that's not cool. Okay. Let's see. Pleasant, delightful, to be lovely, to be pleasant, beauty, to delight in, man. Delight is uh luxury, exquisite, right? Love beautiful, a beautiful shawty, man. Delicate. See that? And the roof of thy mouth like the best wine for my beloved that goeth down sweetly, causing the lips of those that are asleep to speak, man. See that? So let me end it off with Matthew 5 just to destroy all the lies your people like to teach, man. Matthew 5 and 28. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Because Deuteronomy tells you what marriage is, man. Now, a woman, like I said, G-Y-N-E, right? It says a wife. You can't commit adultery with a virgin, bro. Okay? So, I had to bring that out, man, just to really just glorify the Lord and his understanding, bro. And, uh... Being thankful that he created such a pleasure, man. Such a just beauty, bro. You finna go door dashing? You finna get some? Hold on. Actually, let me get this. Where I'm at, bro. Anyways, man, I gotta keep getting getting these examples out. I'm gonna keep bringing this out, bro, cause y'all ruining everything, All right? And yes, it says goddess, bro. Going to the Greek, my bad, the Hebrew for uh, Alahim. Genesis 29 and 16, actually 17. There was no sparkle in Leah's eyes, but Rachel had a beautiful figure and a lovely face man now i'm gonna get the point of uh like i always say righteous desire or lust man genesis 13 14 one day during the wheat harvest reuben found some mandrakes growing in a field and brought them to his mother leah rachel begged leah please give me some of your son's mandrakes man so why did they have mandrakes but leah angrily angrily replied wasn't it enough that you stole my husband's? Now will you steal my son's mandrakes too? Rachel answered, I will let Jacob sleep with you tonight, man. What does sleep with you mean, man? That means clap those righteous duties, man. And don't leave her without. That's conjugal duties, man. Were they lusting in the flesh? No. If you give me some of the mandrakes. So that evening, as Jacob was coming home from the fields, Leah went out to meet him. You must come and sleep with me tonight, man. See that? Come have sex with me. She said, I have paid for you with some mandrakes that my son found. 
So that night he slept with Leah. And Yahweh answered Leah's prayer. She became pregnant. Did the Lord, did Yahweh say you lusted in the flesh, brother? No. Did the Lord condemn the men and women for uh, doing what they're biologically designed to do? No. She became pregnant again and gave birth to a fifth son for Jacob, man. Let's get into the, into the scriptures, man. Because y'all want to make the Lord. Y'all basically telling the Lord he made everything evil. Lord, you put breasts on a woman. That's evil. You put a penis on me. That's evil. Oh, like, no, dude. Like, do y'all not remember he literally killed Onan for not raising up seed, bro? The Lord is very serious about sex, man. Like, you dudes are weird, man. Okay, this is not UFOs and missiles. That's not in the Bible, bro. You guys and you women need to stop condemning people. You're not, your doctrine's not even right, man. But it's okay, bro, because the truth is not uh, popular. Strong's age 1736. Do die. Do die. So a mandrake, bro, is a love apple. As exciting sexual desire and favoring procreation, man. As an aphrodisiac. See that? A loving amatory, man. Love apples. Let me see. All right, ripe from May to July. Oriental superstition attributes still a sexual power, man. It's a power to that, man. Not porn in uh, the Black New World Order. That's fake, that's fake, man. And that's weakness, bro. That's, that's stuff lame. See that? Hold on. Let me see. Let me see what come in mean, bro. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get laid, man. Strong's H, 7901. Shachav. Shachav. And also, too, like I always say, man, create a paradise in y'all mind. Like, y'all be watching too many wicked-ass women and wicked men, and y'all get discouraged. <laughs> okay, because y'all be talking about, like, you understand this, but you don't want to apply it, man. But my whole thing is making this lesson concerning, um... Lust is not necessarily evil. It's to bring out the edification of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And for all you people lying on lying on the Lord. Like, y'all literally close the book. You want to block other people from getting understanding, man. That, that's, that includes your parents, man. But Sakab, again, to lie of sexual relations, man. Everything is not young, dumb, full of cum. Okay? Don't, don't, and don't be mad because you're miserable, man. Nobody care about that. But sexual connection, man. Lover. To ravish. Okay. See that? So that's that's the let me, let me go back to let me go back to it. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 12 and 21. Alright. That word lusteth, right? When you go back into the uh Hebrew. Let me see. Right? When you lust after something. Not necessarily evil. The pleasure, as you see in the Strong's definition, the Hebrew Chaldee lexicon, again, sexual desire. All right. And for you brothers and sisters who do understand, um, this is not for you, man. But this was genuinely for edification and to show the world, bro. Y'all just got to get back to understanding stuff. And know it's not a myth and all this other stupid stuff, man. You guys just find excuses to lose, and you don't have accountability, bro. But that's your problem. You got to figure that out. Anyways, with that being said, peace and blessings, and shalom.